Yes, my dear P5 learners, how are you there? I hope you are doing well. Yes, thank you for joining me in this online lesson. My name is Mr. Mugisha Emmanuel. In our lesson today, I am going to teach you fractions. So I hope it is not very new to you because this one is taught right away from P1. Okay? So what is a fraction? A fraction is a part of a whole. Okay? If I have two whole numbers, okay, then I divide it into two. I divide it into two. I will form two parts. Two parts will be formed. So we call this one a half. Even this one is a half. Okay? This is one part, but out of the two parts that you have formed. If I divide it into four parts, and I want this one. This one is going to be one part out of one, two, three, four, four parts. So I get there a quarter. That is the meaning of a fraction. Therefore, in our lesson today, we are going to see how to shed. Shedding and describing shaded fractions. Describing and shedding fractions. So if I tell you to shed a half of this diagram here, if I tell you to shed a half of this diagram, what do you do? The denominator down here represents the number of parts that we are supposed to have in the diagram. So we have one, two, there are two. But out of two, you are supposed to shed only one. So I will come and shed one part. So in this case, I have shaded a half. What if I tell you now to shed three quarters of this diagram now? If I tell you to shed three quarters of this diagram, well, assuming I tell you to shed three quarters of this diagram, what do you do? I told you the denominator represents the number of squares. So we count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They are now eight. They are more than the denominator which we have here. So in this case, what do we do? You calculate the number of squares which you are supposed to shed. So we shall have three out of four times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You multiply by 8. So divide by 4, 1. Divide by 4, you get 2. So we shall have 3 times 2. 3 times 2, what do we get? We get 6. So we are going to shed 6 parts. Come and shed them here. Properly using a pencil. 1, Two, three, four, five, six. And therefore, I have shaded three quarters of that. Let's look at another example, number three. Somebody may tell you to shed two thirds of the diagram here. Two thirds of the diagram here. Yes, in our example number three, we are supposed to shed two out of three of this. 
So I told you that the moment they are more than, the squares are more than the denominator, what you do, you first calculate the number of parts which you are supposed to shed here. So we are going to have two out of three, then you multiply by number of squares. Count with me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we multiply this by 15. So divide by three is one, divide by three, 15 divided by three, we are getting a five. Then we multiply three times five. And three times five will give us 15. Therefore, it means I'm supposed to shed. I'm supposed to shed, 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 shed. This one is two. I'm supposed to shed two times five, which is 10 parts. Okay? So having got 10 parts, you come here and shed your 10 parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Therefore, in this, I have shaded a two out of three. Now, what if I give you diagrams, some parts are shaded, and I want you to find the unshaded part. Do you know how to do it? Let's look at an example. Describe, or we can say, find the shaded and unshaded fraction. Okay? Find the shaded and unshaded fraction. The first diagram, the first diagram is here. So, these parts are shaded. So, we have two questions in one, the shaded. So, we begin with the shaded. So, which fraction is shaded? You come and count number of parts which are shaded. We have one, two, three. So there are three parts. Then out of the total number of parts, shaded and unshaded, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it means I have shaded three out of six parts. Then you go to unshaded. Unshaded, you count parts which are not shaded. We have one, two, three. Three parts. Out of total, one, two, three, four, five, six. Out of six. So the shaded and unshaded parts will give us these fractions which I have given you here. Lastly, if I have my circle here divided into One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, assuming we have this one, and we have these parts shaded. And our question is saying, find the shaded. So you begin with a shaded, set shaded fraction. Come and count parts which are shaded. One, two. There are two parts. Out of the total parts, you count all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out of eight. Then unshaded. 
unshaded is going to give us the parts which are not shaded are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. Out of how many parts? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Out of 8 parts. Therefore, in this case, the shaded fraction is 2 out of 8. The unshaded part is going to be 6 out of 8. And you are supposed to underline your answer with the two double lines to show that this is your final answer. Thank you so much for being a good learner. Thank you so much for your attention. I'm going to give you an activity. Please enjoy the activity. Bye-bye.